Yo, hi, welcome back. Welcome back to another AFL video, man. We have each AFL team's last winning spoon. Now, thanks to you guys, I remember this time what a winning spoon was, which is basically a award for coming in last place. <laughs> and who would have thought you get a award, whatever, achievement, whatever you want to say it, for coming in last place, show the AFL legend with the video. <clears throat> Excuse me. Jeez, I just imagine, like imagine, you know, you finish your last game, the commissioner comes up to you, congratulations, guys. Here's a winning spoof for coming in last place. Now I think I think this some I think this is something advanced, kind of did, which is actually pretty cool. You don't really see this in a lot of sports, but you know, hey, it's uh, it sucks. But it's part of the game, you know. Eric's gonna be a last. Eric's gonna be somebody who's coming in last. But uh, obviously, with this year's past season, we had North Melbourne and West Coast Eagles. I think if I'm correct, both tied with the same point, so I don't know if they both shared the winning spoon or each one just got their own winning spoon. But I think with goal uh, di differential, it probably up and listen. The games, you know, we was keeping track of stuff like that. They was getting their butt beat every game. Uh, sucks to say, but listen, it's a new upcoming season. Hopefully, that changes, but we will see. How you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing good. Amazing, stupendous, and outstanding. Let's go and check out each AFL team's last winning spoon, man. Let's get it. Adelaide. 2020. Jesus. I think it's schmack. I actually like Adelaide. I don't think they were that great, you know, but they weren't. Oh my god. Oh no. 2017. Oh, my goodness. Hey, thank God I was not watching AFL around this time. I could imagine having you know watch the games and us getting uh you know and us getting beat. Eddie Best, Scott. What a mark, Eddie. God, we're getting cooked. We're getting cooked. Carlton 2018. So we see with Adelaide. I think it was Carlton who actually choked get into the uh the finals this year. Twenty eighteen versus twenty seventeen. And Adelaide is twenty twenty. So recently these three teams weren't that great. Well no more than three or five years ago. So it's just easy, man. I mean, I mean you get good talent, good coaches, your fortunes can change, which I'm hoping can happen for the West Coast Eagles in North, in North Melbourne. Dusty Martin. Oh, she's my God. What are you doing? Oh, God, my God. What is she doing? 1999, Collinwood. My Tony Lockett, my boy. <laughs> My boy Tony Lockett, big man. Twenty sixteen, the Bombers from Essendon. Oh jeez. God, lay buddy's a tank. Get off me. Get off. Oh my God, dude. Forget Essendon being absolute crap in that freaking play just now. Did y'all see the man himself, the big man tank? Buddy Franklin absolutely just trucking over everybody. Man. Mike, I'm about stiff arm in the chest. And still manages to get the ball off. Hey, my boys from Brisbane. That is Frio. That's a pretty hard jersey to find out who's who. That, you know, navy blue and that purple, man, it's not that much of a uh, distinction. You know what I mean? Somebody just can wear all white. Poor Frio. 2001, though. No footage available. 1958, God, Lee Geelong. 
Now, do you know Saint has like the most wi uh, wooden spoons? I think Saint has like twenty-five. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they're that great starting off in the uh, AFL VFL. Go Coast. 2019. Jeremy Cameron before he moved. Goods. And goods. No, 65 Hawthorne, no footage available. Yeah, yeah, they weren't that great. Imagine that. I'm not going to say that again, Dennis, I don't think, are we? No, that's the last fly. Melbourne since 2009. With Melbourne, yes. Get them thighs massaged, my guy. So that's it. St Kilda become just the fourth club to win 20 games in a home and away season. And they win big in the end, 17-12 to Melbourne, 10-7. 72 North Melbourne. And it's, it's interesting because also shout out to Port Adelaide for never coming in last place. Shout out Port Adelaide. I did not peep that. Shout out Port Adelaide. Hey, it's pretty pretty good. I'm not saying it's gonna happen. It could happen, you know, next year, following year, stuff like that. Just never know. They could just have an awful season, but you know, we're seeing teams who you know we don't we don't have footage for North Melbourne, man. I think. For that, for, for going for that long about coming last place, Richmond, two sixteen to sixty five. St. Kilda 2014. God, 163 to 24, man. Good bounce. Yeah, get off me, my boy. <laughs> get off me, my boy. My boy, Tony Lockett. Get off me. Big man. St. Kilda legend. Never won a spoon. West Coast Eagles. Well, eh, okay. Western Bulldogs 03. Matthew Lloyd. God, y'all at uh, North Melbourne beat y'all boys. Happens. Happens. <laughs> you know, somebody, you know, we all, we all got somebody who comes in last place. But uh, we seen with a lot of teams, man, it wasn't so far, long, like Brisbane, for example. 
you know, it wasn't so far ago, the Carlton, it wasn't so far ago, these teams were kind of going through a little, you know, rebuilding phrase and stuff like that. So, and see where they are now, it's going to take time. This week, like, like I said, we're some hoping North Melbourne and West Coast Eagles can get back, especially West Coast Eagles. Hopefully, they, they, they can get back to where they were throughout the history, man. But uh, anyway, I enjoy it. I hope you guys stay as well. Don't forget to like the video and stuff as well. Stay safe. Stay amazing. Talk to you guys later, man. Peace.